literally about um, wildlife crime fighters uh, in India, young people um, who are basically motivated to do everything they can in their power and more um, to save what they believe is the planet. And uh, so acting is also, it should be like a living being. It is, jab tak wo nahi hota, jab tak wo khoon aur maans character ka dikhta nahi hai, tab tak wo character character nahi rehta, wo completely superficial rehta hai. I think it was like an immediate yes when I met Richie. Like I think I just said yes in like five minutes, you know, because I was dying to work with this director. <laughs> so even if it was like for a very small character, you know, I would have said yes, but jackpot tha, you know, uh, mala. And the first few pages into it, I knew I wanted to do this. Uh, the question has answered the, uh, the, the question has the answer in it. It's yeah, literally about um, wildlife crime fighters uh, in India, young people um, who are basically motivated to do everything they can in their power and more um, to save what they believe is the planet. It, it, the entire ecosystem, the, everything we live in, um, whether you're living in a city or in a jungle, yeah. these people are trying to save it um, from very, very, um, powerful forces, essentially the wildlife mafia. Um, and they will do anything to get there. And um, I'm trying to show how inspiring uh, these people are. It's inspired by True Story, the largest elephant poaching case in the history of India, and how these people came together and basically, through by hook or crook, figured out with very little support um, how to, to navigate this. Uh, I find it to be a very inspiring story that I learned from these real wildlife crime fighters, and I wanted to, to um, show this to the rest of the world. Uh, Nimisha Devendu, sir, and uh, Roshan, I would like to uh, know from you guys, uh, so we'll start with you only. Like, as an actor, what was different in Pocha? How did you train yourself uh, for the character? Like, what was your feeling at the time uh, while you were performing? See, uh, uh, First of all, I want to say one thing that uh, it is, I don't actually prepare for any particular role uh, uh, because I think as, a, a, as an actor, uh, it is my profession and, uh, and I'm a professional actor, I'm a trained actor and after my theatre background and right now cinematic uh, past, uh, it is actually you, uh, I prepare myself day to day life basis because I, I feel connected to the society. I try to be connected to the society with my family, with everything like, you know, because uh, uh, going to a vegetable market and buy vegetable also that is a connection for me and that is my day to day uh, uh, activities and uh, um, to realize that I am I'm a living being and uh, so acting is also, it should be like a living being. It is, jab tak wo nahi hota, jab tak wo khoon aur maans character ka dikhta nahi hai, tab tak wo character character nahi rehta, wo completely superficial rehta hai, surface level pe rehta hai. So it is basically uh, uh, like that and then when I get a script and you get a fantastic director, a creator like Richie Mehta and outstanding script and well-researched script and uh, uh, fantastically nuanced crime series with lot of awareness, with lot of so many things. So, this is a different game. And then it is that you know that you are based in real life character and you have to get the soul of that character and you have to ask all the questions. वो सारे सवाल का जवाब एक बंदे बंदा आपको दे सकता है और स्क्रिप्ट में है वो सारी चीजें देन इट इज एक्चुअली द पीलिंग ऑफ द अनियन अनियन का छिलका निकालो 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 और कोर तक जाने की कोशिश करो लेकिन ये जो प्रोसेस है ये प्रोसेस थ्रू आउट द सीरीज चलता रहता है मतलब एक दिन में वो हासिल नहीं होता मतलब मुझे तो मेरे लिए तो होता ही नहीं है आई कैनॉट आई कैनॉट गेट इट कितना भी प्रो क्यों ना हो जाओ मेरे होता नहीं है एक दिन में तो होता नहीं वो it is a process that every every scene after scene after scene, whether it is a chronologically we are shooting or like random we are shooting, but the thread that you have in your mind, वो चलता ही रहता है. So like that only. This is not. I don't think it. It sounds very cerebral, but it's from here only. Right. 
Nimisha, what were your experience if you want to add on something? I think it was like an immediate yes when I met Richie. Uh, <laughs> like I think I just said yes in like five minutes, you know, because I was dying to work with this director. Mm. <laughs> so even if it was like for a very small character, you know, I would have said yes, but jackpot, tha, you know, mm. uh, Mala. And uh, process, like I met the real Mala, you know, it's based on real person, so I met him and uh, I met him for like two hours something and I think it's impossible to know a person in two hours. So I just asked him a question that how do you feel when you get to know about this poaching cases and he just said that uh, like Nimsha just imagine like aapke ghar se, uh, something that's very close to your heart is taken away and your house just home gets dropped how would you react. So he's like jungle is my home and elephants uh, they're poaching my elephants. So that reply just made me understand who the character is, you know, how emotionally uh, committed the character is to the jungle. So, and Baki all, it's like it's a very well written script, you know, you don't have to like put too much of effort. When you get a well written script, Aadha Kam Vahi Pe Khatam Ho Jata Hai. And the complicated part was series me is like morning me you're shooting like episode first ka koi scenes and evening me you're shooting like episode five. So to keep tracking like what the other characters are going through, what Mala is going through was very difficult. But jaise Debudada ne bola sab answer wahan se mil jata tha. <laughs> so it was quite easy, you know. Uh, it was like a very fun process. Yeah, we enjoyed it. Cool. Uh, Roshan, if you want to add on something. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So I read the script before I met Richie. Uh, and the first few pages into it, I knew I wanted to do this. Everything else was a plus, you know, the rest of the cast, Richie being there, the mm -hmm. crew that he was coming with, uh, all of that was an added uh, advantage. And this character that I'd uh, been given is a computer programmer, he solves wildlife crime, he's uh, a father, he's a husband, he uh, really likes snakes, knows a lot about them. A lot of these things are very, very distant from who I am. So it was also like an interesting journey. Uh, trying to find him and trying to find his reasons and you know his purpose and where he gets all his energy from so yeah and I had a lot of fun making the show with these people and all of the people who are not here with us right now but uh, yeah it was an incredible crew it was a great project to be a part of loved it all right uh, Richie sir I would like to ask you the next to question <laughs> <laughs> So as we have seen in the teaser uh, like of Poacher, how big and different uh, the matter is for real because uh, we don't know as humans, uh, as the initiative of spreading the noble message through this movie is being done, it's a very unique concept as I started in the intro also. Uh, so how different or real uh, the entire matter is uh, as you have portrayed in that short teaser? I mean look, the short teaser is just giving you an idea of the importance of this crime. Yeah. That, um, that we have to be equating the life of an elephant like same to the life of a person because that is the weight that we have to start considering these things. Um, that's what the teaser implies essentially. Um, when the trailer comes you'll see really what we're talking about. When you see the series that's the whole big picture of what we're talking about. How far do I stray? Not, not very. Um, the, what I generally try to do with all of my work based on true stories is I will try and stick to as close um, uh, to, the, to the real story as I can with amalgamated characters. Things have to be obviously, sometimes there's 50 people involved and I'm going to show it as five. So a lot of that ends up changing the drama and a lot of personal stories of characters are, are put together by many characters. Like Mala's character has a poacher, historical hunter for a father. Um, the real, there was a few people who Mala is based on. Uh, they didn't have that, but many officers in that environment do. They come from historical hunting families. Um, so they ha and they carry this baggage that at some point my family was responsible for destroying a lot of the charismatic species in this jungle, and now I need to make up for this. It's a very common um, issue there, so I figured this was the right person to do it with. Um, so I can give you the, the seven hour answer, which goes point by point of what's exactly, but I have it all in my head and, and it's all in the script. Okay. Uh, do you guys have pets like after poacher, post poacher? What things have developed uh, in you guys with your relation with your pets? Like how you guys are treating now the entire thing is being, if you can share something with us. I only have pet peeves. 
<laughs> with a lot of <laughs> things, but that's not. Yeah, I have a, I have a pet. Yeah, please. Name is Coco. He's four years old, mm. and I just got him like dog. Yeah, Coco. Yeah, just before the. Covid wala lockdown, okay. so he was like a relief, you know, mm. and I love him. He's my such a pyar. <laughs> I think nothing has changed after Poochar also. I love because him. anything uh, yeah. like a, uh, I'm asking in regards with the anything like a social learning from the concept or the pets what we see around or in the forest also the time when you guys were shooting. Uh, so uh, anything what created an awareness in your mind regarding the subject? I think about th this. A there's a learning curve that everybody is sort of on mm. as far as you know awareness about the environment or issues related to the environment mm. goes. Um, you know, I'm sure everybody likes the forest. I can't I can't imagine a person who wouldn't yeah. like greenery. You know, but uh, there's there's a curve that I've been on, and I feel like I've been a little more conscious probably after poacher. Um, but I don't know if it's happening specifically because of the project or if it's something that keeps happening as we learn more and see more and become more aware in life generally. But right. yeah, I used to litter at some point in life back then. I had an incident where I was standing with a group of very close friends and I casually threw a piece of um, plastic and my friend didn't say anything about it. He was uh, listening to me, I was talking and while he was listening to me, he smoothly went there and he picked up the piece of plastic that I threw. I never littered after that. So there's a there's a learning curve that I feel like we're all on. And like if we the farther we travel along that curve, the better it is for everybody. Cool. All right. Lastly, I would like to know what do you guys have to say to your fans and audience who are eagerly waiting for this series? Before, I do want to give one more answer to your yeah, previous sure. question, which is one of the real uh, one of the one of the small smaller moments. I mentioned this twice in the series. Our characters mention it, but it's very important to understand. A lot of the species we're talking about would benefit immensely from our absence. Mm. So it's not about what is our relationship with them. It's our, our, for me, it's our relationship should be preservation of their ecosystem and then stand back and give them the space that they need because what that ecosystem is doing for us as human beings is immeasurable. There's so much it's bringing to us. That's the narcissistic anthropocenic uh, argument. The, the, uh, the, the real um, Altruistic argument is they need to just be for life itself, but we must not be in that environment. So it's not about direct relationship. It's about giving them the space and then standing back, not going to see elephants, letting them be. You know. Sorry, your next question. Uh, I was asking about uh, what you you a, a pitch from your side for Poacher, the, all the fans and audience who are waiting for the series in regards with Poacher. What do you want to say? Oh, a pitch. Uh, listen, li it, it, <laughs> I I believe this story, the story that I heard is the most compelling crime story I've ever heard in my life. It is thrilling. Um, I've never in my life encountered um, people who are doing such exciting work. Uh, and I hope that translates to, to people watching this all over the world. That this is a story about wildlife crime fighters, and it's a story about people literally fighting for our future. Devendu, sir, you want to add something no, I don't want to add anything. Actually, they are crusaders, basically. And because they are connected to the work, they can't also understand the work in today's history. Because if you look at the series in a good way, then you will know that there is a reference to it. एक टाइम में एनिमल हंटिंग को हीरोइक्स माना जाता था। वी हैव्स टू वी हैव सुविनेस लाइक स्कल्स हॉन्स चारों तरफ एंड हीरोइक्स एंड इन द इफ यू सी द शो वॉच द शो उसमें रेफरेंस भी है बिकॉज़ द हिस्टोरिकल जो हंटर्स होते थे तो यार सो मतलब द मेल एक्चुअली है तो मार्ड है वो एक्चुअली इट्स अ इट्स अ � it's a very sovereignistic <laughs> world, actually. So it is crazy. What I can say, <laughs> it's very sad. You can proceed over to the yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah, Roshan, and yeah, then we'll wind up. Like audience ko connect kar paenge. Like there are things that's happening around us, and we are still unaware of it. You know, I think after watching the series, pata lagega ki kya ho raha hai. And I think. Uh, जो हमारे actions हैं वो कैसे reflect होता है करके and I think वो एक change नहीं तो वो एक connection audience को जरूर दिल फील करता है। Thank you निशा। Agreement to everything that they've said in addition to that it's a fun show। Yeah, yeah, it's a fun show। Agreed। 
Right. Thank you so much, Gary. It, it was a very lovely conversation with you. Thank you for being with ANI. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Vidushi.